guys welcome back to our channel it's Sophie I'm super excited to be back with another makeup tutorial for you guys today I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this really colorful cut crease so if you guys want to see how I achieved this look then just go ahead and keep on watching and also if you want to be entered for our monthly giveaway go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe turn your post notifications on and then comment done down below in the comment section down below to be automatically entered and please only enter the giveaway if you live in the US because our giveaway is US only so first thing I'm doing is priming my eyelids with some concealer for today's palette I'm going to be using two different palettes first one I'm using is the Morphe 3503 palette and I'm going into this really warm transition color and I'm just going to be buffing this shade into my crease and winging out that outer corner because we are doing a cat eye look so I'm just kind of mapping out the shape here with our first transition color and I'm just concentrating this in the very center of my crease kind of going above my natural crease because I want to give myself a little bit more lid space that way when I open my eye I have a little bit more lid space and you can see what's on the lid so first thing I'm doing is going into this angled brush and this shade right here. It's like a really dark magenta pink shade and I'm just going to start to lay this down in my crease. And I'm just starting by drawing a line of definition and as you can see I'm going slightly above my natural crease. And I like to start in the very center of my crease and then work my way to the inner and outer corner. And then I'm going into this small tapered brush and this salmon shade in the palette. And I'm just going to be using this to buff out that line. So I'm literally going in left and right motions and just diffusing that line and starting to build a gradient. And this is my favorite way to build depth in the crease. Uh, comment down below how you guys like to build depth in the crease. I know some of you guys don't really like the eyeliner brush method how I do but it definitely works for me and I love building depth step by step and just kind of layering up products. So next I'm going into this liner brush right here and the darker maroon shade in the palette and I'm just applying this to the crease once again and just really starting to build color here. And then I'm going into this dark purple shade and we're just going to be applying this to the outer corner. So I'm just focusing this on the outer crease and then just dragging inward whatever is left over. Just blending that into that line. So to blend that line out, I'm just grabbing this extra small tapered brush and that magenta shade once again. And just kind of building that gradient and just really diffusing it and making sure that everything is nice and blended. Next, I'm picking up this angled brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm picking up my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contouring Concealer and I'm just starting to carve my lid and as you can see, you can see the lines of where my natural crease is and you can see how much lid space I gave myself so that's definitely why I like to bring it up higher and then I also like to set concealer on the lid as well it just makes the look look a lot cleaner and then I of course always have to set it with some translucent powder. So next I'm going into my Too Faced Glitter Balm palette and I'm first picking up the gold shade in the palette and I'm just applying that all over the inner half of my lid and I did wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and I think that all the shades in this palette are absolutely stunning. So you guys are going to see how I blend the two together but the next one that I'm going into is the blue shade in the palette which I'll be showing in the next clip so this shade right here called splash and I like this blue because it has specks of gold in it so it really blended the two together and it looked really beautiful when I blended that blue into that gold so I just kind of focused it primarily on that outer corner and then just dragged inward whatever was left over to blend them together So next I'm going into that really dark purple shade in the palette, uh, in my Morphe palette and I'm just kind of diffusing that onto that outer edge just to add extra dimension to the look and give some depth to that outer corner. 
And then I'm going to be picking up my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Ghastly Glitter. And I'm going to be applying this to the inner lid and kind of focusing that to the center of that gold. Then I'm just peeling off that tape and applying my Shop Sophie Bella Bali Lashes. Shout out to everybody that places an order with our company. We really, really appreciate all of your guys' support. And then I'm going to be applying my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Black Liner in my waterline. And then I'm applying that first transition color that we applied in our crease and just buffing that onto my lower lash line. And then I'm going into the magenta shade with this really flat defined brush. And then I'm going to be going into the darker purple shade in the palette and really applying that all over the lower lash line. And it just kind of gave this look a little bit more of an edge, just kind of gave it a more of a smoky look. And then I decided to pop that gold shade in the inner half of my lower lash line and I really like what it did to the look. And then I just went into my Mad Lash Mascara by The Balm and I just coated my lower lashes. And then the last thing for this look, I'm just popping my Pop Beauty Gilded Light Highlight to my inner corner. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you watch this video to the very end, Thank you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to support us and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!